から魚雷接近A stern. Waterline. We're flooding quickly. Stations, concentrate fire on that target.
in sight. Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Yamato. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the little run up of uh, some of the things that I ran into this morning while trying to get a video for you guys. I know this video is going to be a little bit late and I do apologize for that. Um, but I, I was really struggling. My eyes have been bothering me all morning and uh, I think I'm starting to run a fever so I might have an infection. Uh, which is kind of something that we thought was going to be a thing, uh, based on, you know, the fact that they can't figure out why my eye is not healing quickly, and, uh, even though I'm not showing signs of infection up to this point, today with the fever, uh, probably starting to hint towards it. And I've been on antibiotics, uh, in droppers or ointment, uh, since the surgery, and I take it regularly, and they actually increase the antibiotic regular, or like, uh, time times per day to six uh last night when i had to rush to the uh surgeon because i was in so much pain and so i drove with one eye all the way up to dublin which is about an hour and a half from my house and uh not gonna lie it was pretty rough but uh unfortunately by the time i got up there things weren't uh, weren't as bad as when i left the house so they couldn't find anything and it's just really, really frustrating because I'm in a lot of pain, like a lot of pain. And uh, right now the pain level is not too bad, but I'm just burning up. I've got chills, which generally, you know, means you have a fever. I bought a digital thermometer, checked my temperature. I'm running 100.7 currently, which isn't real super high, but, you know, it's definitely fever territory. So I'll be taking ibuprofen again here shortly when I go to bed. That'll that this should knock down the fever, but also help with the, the pain. But first shot out the gate, man. Thirty-one thousand damage. That Suge is lucky he didn't get multi citadel and death struck. Like that that should have been absolutely beautiful. Now here I'm not gonna lie. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, and just as we get loaded, the man disappears. <laughs> That's just the way it goes, isn't it? But uh, is what it is. Suja gets himself spotted. We go ahead and take that shot. We're looking to clean him up. And, you know, you don't even have to think about this one. He's done. <laughs> Down he goes. So we're still going to try. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the the uh, little bit of highlights from uh, today's escapades. We had some ridiculous starts. Uh, just didn't quite materialize into a finish. Uh, this one, on the other hand, is going to definitely be a, a juicy one for you guys. Um... Yami was doing me good today. I'm not gonna lie. Montana was too. I was having fun with both Montana and Yami and it just so happened that Yami was getting the games that oh my god. Hello Richelieu. Pow. Ah oh, no. I thought that was the one. No. I sent it down to Richelieu earlier and it was pretty juicy but uh, didn't quite get it on that one. But Yami starts taking shots at me over the island. He's angled away from me pretty well. So uh, we're going to take a shot back at him and we're going to try to push forward. We don't want to be sitting in a position where these guys can bomb on us. There's actually two Yamatos here. So I don't want to sit where they can both bomb on me. We get 14,000 damage out of him though as he's angled away. He's a little over angled so we're able to punch through pretty easily. Those 18 inch guns of the Yamato just absolutely nasty. Everybody loves them. 
Uh, so we're going to push up. We're going to try to get some crossfires. You guys know I like to go for the crossfires in any ship. It can be a little bit difficult in a Yami because you have to be so careful. If you overangle in a Yami, you die. It's just the way it is. You have no choice. You have to plan every single movement. And you have to plan it correctly. Because if you don't, pop goes the weasel. It is literally the easiest battleship to Citadel in the world. If anybody gets your broadside, if anybody gets that cheek at any sort of close range, it is guaranteed Citadel City. Usually ending in a death strike for whoever shoots you. Uh, but Flander here, I'm not going to lie, I was salivating right here. This man is turning towards me, which means he's raising his Citadel. And I think we actually waited a hair too long to take the shot. I think we should have shot a little bit sooner because he gets straightened out and all of my shells just go, where'd they go? Where did they go? That should have been Dev Strike, but they just kind of fizzled out. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. But what happens next is mind-boggling, folks. So, Flounder, you can see, I'm trying to squeeze a shot over this hill. I'm going to take the shot. You know me. I You miss all the shots you don't take, so I take the shot. Uh, we do get a couple rounds to get through. We get a little bit of damage out of it. Not much. Uh, but then, as I'm getting loaded... That smoke screen is about to produce a Mino. That Mino is about to reverse right out in front of me. And if you know anything about the Mino or any other British cruiser, they don't stop and go very quickly. It's generally uh, going to get you in trouble. Backing out in front of a Yami usually ends in death. He's lucky I had terrible dispersion right there. Only getting one Citadel. And then he's like, oh, I got to sneak. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Come on. Rear turret of justice. And... We got another one. <laughs> He's lucky he gets away. He's so lucky he gets away. But then he pulls forward and apparently he's in a position where my teammate can clean him up and the Brandenburg absolutely punches him right in the throat. Now, remember what I said about paying attention to the map and planning in a Yami? There's a Yami coming up close to me. I see that he's trying to flank me. I put up my spotter plane to spot him. I know, it's a crazy concept. Nobody does this except me, I think. I think I'm the only person that will use a spotter plane in certain situations just so that I can see what the enemy is doing. And I knew that as soon as my plane got up over that mountain, I would be able to see him. So now that I know where he's at, I'm planning for him to come around this corner. And you'll actually see that that's not what he does. He changes his mind on what he was going to do. We're going to ba back off into this island. And we've already changed course. We're already turning our, uh, our steering to go left so that we can go around this island. And then we're going to pie the corner. We're going to try to go around this corner as basically nose in as possible. It can be very difficult in these closed quarters to get a battleship to do what you want when it comes to coming around a corner. But the penalty for screwing this up is death. Guaranteed death. So, I make sure that I get this right. And that's when we see the Yami over there at 2.2 kilometers. Now, both of us are running concealment mods, so neither of us has the proxy detection on each other right now. So my team is actually detecting him. And I'm going to be able to come around the corner. Now we're within two kilometers, so we're guaranteed to, uh, to see each other. The Yami has just fired his guns. And so he has no defense for what's coming. And I don't have to rush the shot. I know what's, what's going to happen. We get that center of mass, and pop goes the weasel. Four, four hits, four citadels, and the death strike. Guaranteed. But unfortunately... Getting rid of that Yami has cost me my life. As you can see, there is nobody around me. Nobody. And now I have put myself in a position to be focused by a GK who's not being an idiot at this point. Uh, he turns out trying to avoid getting blapped. We do actually get a good shot on him and get 7,000 damage, giving us our high caliber. Uh, but... The Yami especially is going to be a problem. You can see I'm spamming, requesting support. The Brandenburg seems to be heading in my direction, but he also seems to be happy to just sit behind the island. Now, the guy doesn't have a lot of health. He took a pretty nasty hit from the Yami that we, that we just dev struck. But, yeah, between this GK and this Yami, I'm not long for this world. Like, you can see, it's just, it's, you're done. But we do get a good hit on the Yami on our way out, giving us... A very quick 180,000 damage done 
and uh, just an absolute doozy of a match. Now, we're going to go ahead and speed up to get to the end of the game for you guys, because really nothing interesting happens. And as you guys can see, uh, we end up doing just enough to win this match for our team. Uh, our team's able to finish cleaning these guys up relatively easily. Uh, they start moving out to actually attack these guys after I die, of course, because, you know, everybody's perfectly happy to sit behind the island and let me do all the all the tanking and, and damage. But as soon as I die, that's when they all come out, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the Brandenburg actually does quite well here at the end, showcasing exactly why he should have been able to get up into the fight earlier. Now, again, he had taken some damage from that Yami. He got a couple heals off, probably will to rebuild, maybe not will, but had definitely got some heals off to get some health back and uh, ends up going and wrecking that GK uh, who just sailed broadside to him. But 181,000 damage, 2,685 base XP, top of the leaderboard. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed it and have a great weekend. And as always, if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.